fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, there's danger on the trail ahead. Oh, Silver! Baking bread in Buena Vista was a duty to Sam Crawford, a duty he never shirked no matter what the weather might be. He was a widower, and he operated the bakery with the help of Kip, his small son. Got them pans greased, Kip? Almost ready, Pa. Bring them over here. I've got to get this batch of bread into the oven before I pull the other one out. Here, 12 of them. All greased and right. Good. Gee, Willikins, it's hot. Can't bake bread without heat, son. I'll bet it's so hot outside you could put those pans in the middle of the street and the bread would bake easy. <laughs> Maybe so, but it wouldn't be as good as what comes out of the oven. All right, Kip, open that stove door. I'm going to push him in. Well, we've got a few minutes before we pull out the first batch. Is it done, Pa? Well, not yet. It'll be 15, maybe 20 minutes before the first loaves are done just right. Pa? Yeah? Pa, how do you tell when bread is done just right? I Kip, I'm surprised at you. You've been helping me around here ever since your ma went away. You've watched me bake bread hundreds of times. Sure, but I still don't see how you know when it's done just right. <laughs> Experience, son. Or maybe it's luck. Anyway, I always mix it and knead it and bake it in the same way and the same time every day. Yeah, I know. I heard Jack Riley over the livery stable telling some men about you just this morning. Is that right? He said you were the best baker in the whole state and that you always did it the same way. He said that folks in this town set their watches by the time you bake fresh bread in the window every window. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Then he told them, whenever you see Sam Crawford putting fresh bread in his window... You can bet your bottom dollar it's three o'clock. You ain't missed once in 15 years. Well, I never thought of it before. I guess it is about three o'clock every day. Then think I'll ever be a baker like you, Pa. <laughs> sure you will, Kip. You're almost as good as me right now. I've just been thinking... Hmm? Oh, somebody in the front of the shop, Kip. You go see who it is. Sure. Uh, guess I'd better rustle a little more wood for that fire. Two men want to see you, Pa. See me? Who are they? I don't know, but there's two fellows I was telling you about. Well, I don't know. Hey, this place is hotter than the hinges. How do you stand it, Sam? Sure is hot. Hackett. Len Hackett. Surprised to see me? I... What do you want? Who's the kid? He's mine. My son, Kip. 
Heard you were married, had a family. Heard all about you, Sam. That's why Jay and me dropped around, ain't it, Jay? Yeah. What are you doing here in Buena Vista? We'll get to that. Want to palaver in front of the kid? Uh, go outside for a few minutes, Kip. Oh, Pa, I don't... Go, go on. All right. Yeah, that's better. You don't seem very glad to see us, Sam. Why should I be glad to see a couple of owl hoots like you and Jay? Kind of forget your old partners, don't you? Our partnership is over and done with. I've been going straight ever since I came out west. Sure, sure. We forgot about that little deal in Texas. That was years ago. But maybe the law's got a better memory. What do you want with me? Nothing, Sam. Absolutely nothing. Jay and I have heard a lot of nice things about you since we've been in town. Well? Everybody says you're the best baker west of the Mississippi. That you're so regular and dependable in your work that they set their watches by you. You didn't come here to tell me that. No, Sam, we didn't. We came to tell you about the stagecoach that hits town every day at 3 o'clock. Stagecoach? Look here, Hackett. I don't know what you're planning to do, but I do know I won't have any part of it. Yes, you will. Your gun doesn't scare me, Hackett. I'll... You'll do exactly what I tell you. If you want to stay alive... There's law here in Buena Vista. You heard me, Crawford. Oh, what is it? Nothing now. But when the stage comes in here tomorrow afternoon, there will be something for you to do. early. He's due here till three o'clock. Is that right, Sheriff? It does seem a mite early. I didn't think it was that late yet. Oh, it's three o'clock, all right. Look across the street in Sam Crawford's bakery. Just putting fresh bread in the window. Ah, guess my watch must be slow. Sam can't be wrong. Uh, neither's old Baldy. He always brings his stage in on time. That ain't Baldy driving, is it, Sheriff? Say, where's Baldy, the regular driver? Yeah, he's sick and we're cold springs. I'm taking his place. How about that gold shipper for the mine company payroll? Uh, I guess it's all right. Hey, help me with the payroll. Yeah, sure, yeah. sir. Yeah, that ought to ride all right. Sure, thanks a lot, Sheriff. Yeah, Baldy must have took sick kind of sudden. Yeah, real sudden. That's why he asked me to drive for him. He said it was important that this payroll got down to the mine company. Yeah, it is. Well, thanks again, Sheriff. Get up, you critter. Get up. That's too bad about Baldy being sick, ain't it, Sheriff? Yeah, it is too bad. Here she comes, folks. Hey, another stagecoach. Another coach? It can't be. Hey, look, it's Baldy. Baldy, what does this mean? You think I was passing out free stogies the way you folks are crowding around? Well, Baldy, they told us you were sick. There was a stage here a few minutes ago at 3 o'clock. Stage here? What are you talking about? It's just 3 o'clock now, straight up. Hey, Sheriff, what time you got? Say, my watch wasn't slow after all. It says three right now. Well, the other stage come just as Sam Crawford was putting his bread in the window. We always tell time for Sam. And he was ahead of time today. Who drove the other stage? We don't know. A stranger. But he was on time and he said you was laid up sick. Great day in the morning. You didn't give him that cash to carry. Say, Sheriff, did that other stage get the cash? Yes. It was a trick. Hey, maybe Sam Crawford was ahead of time on purpose. If it hadn't been for him, maybe we'd have noted the other stage was early and been suspicious. Well, get after it. That we'll cash... get after it. Then by Juniper, I'll have a talk with Sam Crawford. About an hour later, two men were riding north toward Buena Vista. One of them was masked and astride a powerful white stallion. His companion was an Indian. It was the Lone Ranger in Tonto. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this, Tonto. Empty stagecoach pulled up to the side of the road. Ah. Team cut loose. No one around. Well, that's strange. Maybe wheel break. No, everything's in good shape. I can't understand why. Well, look. This... Come down the road. Those men are riding hard, Tonto. Uh-huh. We take back trail? No, we'll see who they are. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, there. Get your oh, hands up. Your cover. Don't touch leather. He's masked. Sheriff, we got our men. With the stage, too. Take a look and see if the gold is still on board. Hey, that mask armor ain't the one that was driving. You, stranger, did you hear me? Get your hands up. Why? Because you're under arrest. For what? Don't go to do what I say. Get them hands up. You won't shoot me if I don't go for a gun. I have a right to know the reason for my arrest. All right. 
You came through town in that stage, or at least your partners did. You lied about the regular stage driver and picked up a load of gold. Gold ain't here now, Sheriff. Huh. So you got partners. They went ahead with the gold. I don't know anything about this robbery, Sheriff, but I'm going to. Take his hardware. You hadn't better try it. By thunderation. I never saw a man as cold as you. Don't you know this is a gun in my hand? Don't you know I can drill you if you're refusing to surrender? You won't. I'll go quietly wherever you want me to go, and Tonto will go with me. But I'm going to keep these guns and this mask. Now, where do you want me to go? I never see the equal of them. Me neither. Read it all, I want to talk to Sam. But if I take this hombre into town like that, and Sam is in cahoots with the gang, like I suspect, Sam will see his coming and skedaddle. It's possible that he's as innocent as I am. Uh, now, look here, you two. You stay right here with the masked man, the redskin. Keep your guns handy and keep close watch. Uh, we should take a shooting iron, Sheriff. And when you move close, you grab it. Use you as your shield and start gunplay. Nope, I know a fast gunslinger when I see one. Just keep watch and wait here till I get back. I'll be back as soon as I've talked to Sam Crawford. <laughs> Where's your paw? He's not here. I was afraid of that. That's why I'm mixing this bread dough. So when Paul comes back... Where'd he go? I don't know. Said he'd be back after a while. Why? Kip Crawford, you're lying to me. Lying? Why, no, Sheriff. Honestly. I'll bet he hightailed it out of here about 3 o'clock, didn't he? Sure, but... I thought so. Your paw's a crook. He's in cahoots with the outlaws that stole $25,000. He is not. My Shut pa... up. I'll find him. I'll have a posse fan this whole state till we run him down. You can't say things like that about Paul. I'm saying them. It's just your hard luck, kid, that you picked a crook for a paw. That's a lie. You'll see. I've already got two that were on the job. Likely they're the ones that borrowed a stage from somewheres. I found them with the abandoned stage. Now that I know Sam is guilty, I'll make those two tell where he is. <laughs> Answer me. Now, where's that no account deputy? Uh, great Scott. All tied and gagged back at the stage. Laced up like a couple of new boots. Why, you doggone bugging fools? Shut up till I cut the gag. There. Now, drat your worthless hide, what happened? He jumped us, Sheriff. Jumped us, gagged and roped us, and got clean away. There. Now you can talk, too. Yeah, they move like grease lightning, Sheriff, but it proves they're guilty. What about Crawford? Well, he got away from town before I got there. Now, those two sure got away fast. I'll never see the like of it. Well, I'll get them. Get them and Crawford, too, if it takes me till kingdom come. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. After the Lone Ranger and Tonto made their successful escape, the masked man and his Indian friend knew that a posse would soon be on their trail. They rode south for several miles, then doubled back. It was after dark when they reined up beside the deserted stagecoach that had figured in their arrest. Oh, 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 oh. The sheriff and his deputies will spend their time searching for us. Meanwhile, the real crooks will have more time to get away. The trail starts right here, Toto. That's right. We'll have to be sure not to confuse their trail with the footprints the lawman made. And me follow trail? Yes, I'm going back to town. I want to learn more about Sam Crawford and his part in this thing. Uh, maybe next time. Deputy not give you a chance to escape. I'll be ready the next time. I'll have a disguise beneath my mask. Ah. Uh, and where Tonto to meet you? In town, Kimosabe. I'll leave a sign if I'm not there. Uh. I'll see you later. Come on, Silver. While the Lone Ranger headed for town with a brief pause to don a disguise beneath the mask, the outlaws crouched by their campfire in a mountain hideout. On the ground near the fire, a man lay tied both hand and foot. Hey, Len, you sure nobody got wise to you when you were in town? How could they get wise? 
I was inside the coach. You were the only one he saw. Is the town pretty raw, Lip? <laughs> and they're going crazy. The sheriff is running around like a chicken with its head off. <laughs> <laughs> he said he captured a couple of hombres where we left the stage. He did. Tall man wearing a mask and an engine. And he blames them, huh? Sure. <laughs> Luck is with us, Jay. We couldn't have framed it any better ourselves. Yeah. All except Sam over there. We didn't figure on him turning us up here. Don't worry. We'll take care of Sam. That right, Crawford? Sure. It's easy enough for you buzzers to kill me. But the law will get you. Sometime. <laughs> Sam, you sure scare me with threats like that. You know, you used to be a pretty smart hombre in the old days. You shouldn't have been so smart, Sam. The trail we left was pretty well hid. I didn't think anyone could follow it. You forgot that I used to be one of the best at reading trails. Yep, like I said, you used to be a pretty smart hombre. You should have been smarter today. I'll live to see you two hang. <laughs> yeah, laying there hogtied with your face in the dirt proves it. Trouble with you, Sam, is that you caught that honesty disease. That's bad. You dirty low down. And the worst part of it is a disease like that is liable to prove fatal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do the people in town think he had anything to do with it, Len? Sure, the sheriff figured there must be some reason for Crawford putting his bread in the window a few minutes early. <laughs> And they think he's with us, eh? I guess they do. That's a shame, too. Because I've got a hunch Mr. Crawford won't be with us very long. Go on, shoot me. What are you waiting for? Oh, no hurry. Jay and I have got to take that gold out of the box and pack it in saddlebags. Well, if you've got plenty of time, do you mind giving me a drink of water? I'm thirsty. How about it, Len? Sure, give him a drink. Here, take my water jug. Yeah. I'm not going to pour it for you. Then... Loosen these ropes on my hands and feet so I can sit up. I don't know about that. It's all right, Jay. Just keep him covered while he's drinking. Yeah, I don't know why letting me bother with you. Old time's sick, I guess. There. Uh, it's better. Yeah, take a jug. And don't try any funny business. I'll... Glenn, Glenn! What the... He's getting away, heading for the horses. I'll nail him. Did you get him, Lynn? I think I winged him. Well, that's not your fault, you mule. I headed. couldn't help it, Lynn. Honest, I couldn't. He moves so fast. Uh, and I... Shut up. Now we gotta tail him. Lynn, listen. Look, is that Sam? No, oh, it's an engine. Do you think he? The main thing we gotta worry about is now is Sam Crawford. He'll head for Buena Vista and get the sheriff. You mean we'll? No, have to go... I'll go alone. You stay here and keep your eye on the gold. But Lynn, my you horse can't... will outrun that bronc he got away with. I'll hit him all. kitchen of Sam Crawford's bakery, Kip was busy kneading the bread dough for the evening's baking. That Paul be surprised when he comes back and finds I've got it already put in. Kip! Paul, where have you been? Everybody's been looking for you. Yes. Yes, I know. Paul, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I've just got to sit down, I guess. You're hurt. I can see by the way your shirt... Paul, you've been shot. Not bad, Kip. At least... I don't think it is. I hope not. I'll run and get Doc Sawyer. He'll be able no, to... No, Kip. Wait. Something I've got to tell you first. What, Paul? A long time ago, before your ma and me were married, I guess I was kind of a wild one. Hired out on a chuck wagon of a big cattle spread down south. I'd better get the Doc... No, wait. While I was working there, some of the cowpokes pulled a little rustling job. I was in on it. Things got hot, so he hightailed it. I came up here, got married, started this bakery. Why, you better let Those me... Those men that were here yesterday, Kip, I worked with them down south. They were the ones who pulled that robbery with a fake stagecoach. And the reason they got away with it was because I... I mean, they made me... I know, Paul. You, you know. Instead of going outside when you told me, I stayed behind the door and listened. Then... You know why I had to put the bread out early. So everybody Sure, would... I know. And so does the sheriff. He was here hunting for you. But I didn't tell him a thing. Uh, you're a good boy, Kip. Stay that way always, will you? Why, sure, Paul, but... Uh... Paul. Paul! Gee, Willikins, I... Paul! <laughs> Who, who is it? A masked man. Who are you? Your name is Kip Crawford? Yes. I've heard about it. 
about you. I didn't think that Kip Crawford was a boy who cried very much. You cried too if your pa just died. The best pa in the world. Oh, excuse me, Kip. I, I didn't see. I understand. Here, let me see. They shot him. Who? The men who drove a fake stagecoach this afternoon. They fooled the sheriff and got away with a lot of money. How did your father get into it? He made him do it. They knew Paul always put the fresh bread in the window every afternoon at 3 o'clock. But they made him put it in early, so everybody think it was time for the regular stage. I see. But how did your father he get... He went after him, because he was the first one who realized what had happened. They caught him. He must have got shot getting away. That's right. The first one of the moves to get led this back. Reach. What the... He's behind us, Kip. You're dull going right now. You take a chance. Oh. You coyote... You killed my pa. Now you're Shut up, Ron. Knock you down, too. Hey, there, what are you doing? He gets you. No, you don't. Jay, what is it? Hey, get in there. Go on, step along fast. Hey, where'd you find the redskin? They're starting to come after you. He's the one we've seen before. I thought he was harmless. Must be this mask could his friend. Well, it looks like we got plenty to do. What about Sam? Well, he's done. But the kid here knows all about us. That's too bad for him. Hold on, you gun-crazy fool. You want the whole town to hear? What are we going to do? Move him. Take him to our camp. You won't take me Watch with us. Watch the Redskin. I'll gag the kid. Yeah. Now, he's a fighting kid. You ain't so strong. I can't handle you. Don't you make a move, Redskin? You will not get far. Oh, well, we'll see. Pick up the jump of the mast. Tote him outside and put him on his horse. You got the kid all gagged, take it. Sure. Let's get out of here now. With these two gone, the sheriff will figure they're the thieves and they got Sam so they wouldn't have to split. Yeah, where are we taking him? Our camp's good as anywhere. Put that arm brain his horse, Redskin. Uh, Jay, you see these hog tied and while you're at it, take his guns. Uh, him ride this horse. That white one's yours? No. White horse, not mine. Where is yours? This is Sam's. Uh, me ride horse down yonder. You see it? Well, get it. Don't waste no time. I suppose you left it over there so we wouldn't hear you, eh? I'll go with you just to make dead sure you don't sound no alarm. <laughs> The Lone Ranger recovered consciousness to find himself tied and riding the paint horse that belonged to Tonto. Tonto rode beside him with Kip on the other side. Hard voices came from the darkness and back. Let's keep going straight ahead. We'll tell you where to make a change of direction. You with a mask. Are you conscious yet? Yes. That's too bad. Because you got that much more time to worry about what we aim to do with you. I won't worry about that. Oh, no, you won't, eh? Worry won't help. Tonto, what about Silver? Me leave him behind. You know what horse you ride? Of course. This is Scout. Ah. You know what horse Tonto ride? What are you talking about? It's a secret. Secrets? I know the horse, Tonto, but I don't understand. Maybe it fetch help. Oh, I see. Good for you, Tonto. Now, which of those men has my guns? A feller named Jay. Jay? What do you want? How much farther? You'll be told when we arrive. Now turn around and keep your face in the front. Can the sheriff follow our trail? Me tear bits of paper all a long way. Haven't those two noticed you? No, me plenty careful. Them not notice. Out of did you hear something? Ah, horse come this way. Me hear it. That's what I thought. Be ready. Are your hands tied too? No, me get them loose. Listen, shove over into the trees and rein up. Someone's coming. We'll let him pass. Oh, oh, oh there, oh. city, city boy. Now listen, if you make a move, I'll let you have it. Who's coming? I don't know, but keep still, Sammy. Don't you suppose it might be the sheriff and his men? If it is, he'll come right to you. Hey, Jay, look over yonder. You can see in the moonlight. Yeah. It is the sheriff. No, Tonto. Me tell him. Tell him from saddle. This is for you. For you. There they are. Come on, boy. Shoot him. How can they drop a gun? Oh, gun fine less is us. Drop that. Boy. Oh, my arm. Take those two. I got you all covered. Take the gag from that boy. His father was murdered by those two. Glory be. It's the masked man, the redskin. Got your last, huh? Those are the ones you want. Kip Crawford will tell you the truth. Ah, Kip. Ah, you can talk. Hackett and Jay robbed the stage. They killed my dad. Stole my horse, huh? You've got a plenty to account for. Tonto remembered something you said, Sheriff. You proved that you considered a horse thief the worst of crooks. Ah, me know you follow horse. That's why me take your horse, Sheriff. He left a trail of torn paper for you. You done that? I'll get you for that. You get nobody! That for blow you give Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Great day, Jeb. You heard that? Well, of all the... That's it, Sheriff. That accounts for the white horse that's been following us. Here, Silver. Here, boy. Cut that rope. Loose his hands. Jeb, you hear me? Have being cut. You must be named Tonto. Uh, me, Tonto. Well, why in Tonto didn't you say who you was? Great Scott. No wonder you got away from us. The Lone Ranger. 
To think I figured on guarding you. Steady there, Silver. It'll be good to be riding you again. Easy. <laughs> Sheriff, you'll take care of Kip? Kip? <laughs> Lad, I clean forgot you. Doggone it, you've got a big job now. Yeah, I know. I've got to take my pop's place. Oh, Silver! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 